what's happening people i hope you're all well so daniel dubois stops jerrell miller in the final round in the 10th round let's talk about it i'm very happy for dubois i'm happy for the guy um because for someone like him to overcome um that type of style with the history that he has of quitting in fights is gonna do wonders for his confidence. Because let's face it, Daniel Dubois, you know, I'm not the one taking punches from heavyweights. I have box and I do box, but I'm not a heavyweight and I'm not fine at the level Daniel Dubois is fighting at. So I'm not going in on Daniel Dubois when I say he quit. I'm not trying to disrespect the guy. I'm just kind of speaking factually, you know, he has quit. Against Joe Joyce, he did quit. Uh, against Yusuke, he did quit. Against Kevin Lorena, it appears that he may have wanted to quit. So going up against a pressure fighter, that kind of is a recipe for disaster on paper. But boxing fights aren't fought on paper. And Daniel Dubois, he got the job done. Um, Jarrell Miller, you know, there was a lot of mystery and intrigue about whether he would be the same Jarrell Miller. I mean, for me, he's, I already knew the answer to that question because I've watched um, a couple of his combat fights and to me, he didn't look like the same Jarrell Miller. He looked flatter. He looked like he was getting hurt in there. He was heavier. So, the, but the question was, for me, can... Dubois, I'll get rid of Jarrell Miller quick because um, then I see it being Dubois or can Jarrell Miller drown him late and in the end it was Daniel Dubois that drowned Jarrell Miller late so that was a bit ironic but I got the prediction wrong uh, you know I put my hands up you know I got the prediction wrong shout out to everyone who was picking Dubois and you know, Jarrell Miller, it looked like it was en route to being a typical Jarrell Miller performance. You know, Daniel Dubois, his body language didn't look good. Jarrell Miller was all over him. Uh, he wasn't throwing an awful lot in the first round. I think he literally just walked Daniel Dubois down. Then he started to apply the pressure and it looked like it was going to turn in to a typical Jarrell Miller performance. That's what it appeared to look like. It appeared it was going to turn into a typical Jarrell Miller performance. But then Jarrell Miller, you know, one of the questions was when, when asking the question, is Jarrell Miller the same fire? One of the questions was, has he got the same gas tank? And evidently not, because Jarrell Miller gassed out in this fight and he became very low output. He was just marching forward, taking punishment. And I also think that Dubois... He gained Dubois' respect. I mean, excuse me, he got the, he respected Dubois' power. I believe that Jerome Miller respected Daniel Dubois' power. He felt Dubois' power, he was bleeding from the lip, and it made him not to say he wouldn't come forward, he still did, but it made him think twice. And, you know, got to a point where Daniel Dubois was just racking up rounds. I thought it was a 12 rounder, but then I looked at it as a 10 round, and I was like, okay, Jerome Miller's actually got to start working here. Um, and Daniel Dubois, you know, this style Jerome Miller that Taylor made for Daniel Dubois to tire out, but he didn't. And then in the 10th round, I was thinking, wow, Jerome Miller needs a stoppage. I don't think he's going to get it. His punches don't have the mustard on it. And it was Dubois who went for the stoppage, and Dubois got the stoppage. Now, do I think it was a soft stoppage? Yeah, kind of, but it's elementary because Daniel Dubois was on his way to winning that fight. I think the ref could have let it carry on, but it is what it is. So, Daniel Dubois gets the win. I think that'd do wonders for his career. Let me also say, like, it's, you know, it's not his fault. I don't think Daniel Dubois is the most clever person in the world. And I think that may have helped him in this fight. Because if you overthink sometimes, it can play to your detriment. And Daniel Dubois, I don't think he's an overthinker. So, if you're, if you're an overthinker, and you're going in against someone who's constantly mad and the pressure on you, that can, you know, befuddle you and cause you to capitulate. But because Daniel Dubois isn't really a thinker, in my opinion, uh, I think that may have helped him. You know, I think that may have helped him. Where some people, it would have come into their mind that, oh, this pressure's too much. He may have just had a, 
not been thinking about it. But either way, Daniel Dubois gets the win. Congratulations to him. I'd like to see where he goes from here. Jerome Miller can come again, but I don't think he's the same after he's come back. So let me know what you think. Let me know what you thought of the fight. Let me know what you think about what I said. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, hit the notification bell so you get a notification when I make a new video, and I'll see you on the next one.